Today on Dylan Talks Tone, we're going to talk about how to put a kill switch in your guitar. How's it going? My name is Dylan and this is Dylan Talks Tone. You know this channel as a guitar tone technical channel. We do some product reviews, we do all kinds of how-to stuff, and we're going to put this a little bit on a tighter of a schedule. So you know we have our live show on Monday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern. It's a live broadcast that you can come and be a part of as a uh, you know FAQ and that sort of stuff. On Wednesdays, we're going to do What Do You Think Wednesdays. It's going to be a little bit more subjective. We're going to try new things together. And on Fridays, we're going to do really technical stuff, how-tos. And today, I'm going to show you how to put a kill switch in your guitar. So let's go ahead and draw our circuit uh, for this kill switch situation. Uh, we'll go to our screen here and let's do this. Uh, let's do this together. So we've got our volume pot, we've got our momentary switch, and we've got our output jack here. First of all, we need to have a ground for everything to ground to, right? So there's our ground. So let's go ahead and ground our volume pot, and then we'll go ahead and bend our little volume tab over like that. That's how that normally works, right? And then we'll go ahead and we'll ground our output jack and we'll actually ground the case of the switch that we're about to install okay so there we go so everything is grounded now let's go ahead and put our signal wires in there and the reason I want to take the time to do this is because uh, we want to explain why we're hooking this up a certain way so uh, first of all we've got our signal wire that goes to our hot then we've got this other one that goes and hops over like this and then goes back out to the guitar. So there is, that would be your pickup selector switch. That would be your pickup if it's just one pickup, right? But that's the signal out to the guitar. So the reason we kind of put this in there together, I wanted to show you everything, is because a lot of people would think, because we've not hooked up the momentary switch for the kill switch yet, that you would actually just put that in line on that hot line and you would cut that like every time you wanted to kill the guitar but that would end up being kind of loud and here's the reason it would sort of be like when you pop your cable out if that makes sense and it get, makes that pop noise that's sort of what would happen if you put a switch on the hot to your output jack so this is actually very simple what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take one side of this switch and we're gonna run it to one side of the output jack and we're gonna take one side and go to the to the hot now when it's hooked up this way what happens is when you push on the button it shorts the entire signal to ground and makes it quiet as long as your finger is on that button and then it comes back and there will be less of a pop there will be less noise and it will be it, it'll work better so that's it well hopefully that was helpful now we're gonna do some more stuff like this on Fridays we're gonna do more technical stuff we're going to do our live show, obviously, on Monday nights. That's a huge deal already. On Wednesdays, we're going to do like a What Do You Think Wednesday, like we mentioned earlier. But Fridays is for tech stuff. Fridays is for how-tos, for repairs, for all this kind of stuff. If you have a problem with your guitar, if you have a question, if you're wondering how to properly do something, let me know in the comments to this video, and we will make a video just for you. Do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell and uh, you'll be notified when we do the video that we make just for you. That would be fantastic. My name is Dylan. This is Dylan Talks Tone. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have a great weekend.